Traditional carbohydrate metabolism is a single variable relationship. What that means is that the story about diabetes goes like this. You eat carbohydrate. It could be bananas. It could be potatoes. It could be white rice, black beans. It could be crackers, cookies, sodas, pastas, chips, bread, any of that. Carbohydrate, known as quote unquote carbs, turns into sugar. And then sugar means that your pancreas has to make more insulin. This is an insulin vial on the screen here just because it's easy to depict, okay? But if you're, if you're not injecting insulin, that would mean that your pancreas has to make more of this stuff, okay? More carbs means more sugar. More sugar means more insulin. Is this a true story? Yes or no? No. Yes. Who said yes? I have people like, no, no, I'm not going to say yes. <laughs> you know I mean? No, there's no way. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. The answer is, uh, this seems like it could be a good story. And it's easy to believe that this is a good story because, number one, it's simple. Number two, it's logical. And number three, most people who eat carbohydrate, energy, end up with high blood glucose. So it makes perfect sense. Right? When I tell people, I'm like, this is, this is too garbage. This is too simplified. It doesn't make sense. People are like, no, you don't understand. Right? You don't understand because when I eat a potato, I then look at my blood glucose meter and it's 50 points higher. Therefore, the potato turned into sugar and the sugar's in my blood and the sugar in my blood makes my pancreas have to make more insulin. And I'm like, I understand what you're saying, but biology is more complex than that. This is what biology actually looks like. These are biochemical pathways, completely nonlinear, redundant mechanisms that are all feeding back on one another. And you have to just sit there and stare at this stuff for hours thousands of hours before it even starts to make a semblance of a sense. But once you recognize it, you're like, oh, it's actually a very elegant system. And the elegant system is what I want to try and give you guys more insight into. I have a feeling most of you guys already know it, but we can go into more detail. Okay, so this got a little bit uh, messed up on the bottom here. But there's multiple different forms of diabetes. You have on the top left, type 1 and 1.5 diabetes. Those are the autoimmune versions of diabetes. Raise your hand if you're living with type 1 in this room. One, two, three. Perfect. We are always the minorities. This is great. Type 1.5 diabetes. Anybody? Nobody. Great. Pre-diabetes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cool. Sweet. 15. Uh, how about type 2 diabetes? Cool. 5, 10, 15. Okay. Pre-diabetes is the largest group in this, in this room, which is interesting because pre-diabetes is the largest group in the United States as well. Okay. So factoid, there's 35 million people living with diagnosed diabetes. Okay, there's 85 million living with undiagnosed diabetes. And that's mainly prediabetes, okay? So you have the autoimmune versions up here. You have the lifestyle versions, which is prediabetes and type two diabetes. And then on the bottom, you have gestational diabetes and polycystic ovarian syndrome, okay? Gestational diabetes is a version of diabetes that affects women who are pregnant, temporarily. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is not diabetes. The reason I wrote it there is because women who are living with PCOS end up with very hard to control blood glucose. Okay, so I'm putting it there as like a blood glucose irregularity problem. Now here's the thing, most doctors think that that, the autoimmune version, lifestyle version, and this version are all different than each other. They're not. They're actually all connected by this thing called insulin resistance. So all I want, this entire focus of this talk is let's figure out what the heck this thing is, let's figure out how to control it, let's figure out how to reverse it, and then if we do, then that becomes easier, this goes away and those either go away or become easier. Hey there, vegan family. Thank you so much for watching our video clip. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, tell all your family and friends. We really want to help this channel grow. So that would be amazing. And also if you really, really liked it and you'd like to purchase the entire video, you can head to the link in our description box below and you can purchase this video or get the collection from the cruise. So thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a beautiful day and also hope we get to see you aboard the ship very soon. Aloha. Whoop, 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 whoop.